So I understand that this game can be quite difficult, which is why I decided to make a video about tutorials, because this game might be kind of hard for some people. So, first of all, uh, if you want to get out of this room a bit faster and you don't want to wait for uh, Shade to keep speaking, you can jump over here and then run over that so you don't have to leave. Um, just a little, little time save. So this is your first introduction to combat, and it's a guy out in an elevated position so that you can, you know, you have to look up to kill him. Uh, if we go through here, you get introduced to snipers, and you get introduced to their lasers. Uh, then you get introduced to breaking open windows, so that you can do that. Shields, quite important. Uh, you can break their glass, like this, and then kill them. You can also just run around them, but that's kind of hard in this game compared to Payday 3. Uh, the nader will immediately gas you as soon as you enter the room, and... Again, he's on an elevated position, so it's teaching you to look up and down, because otherwise, you know, you, you maybe might not do that. But this long hole of explosives, so you learn about traps. Uh, and then this guy, I think he spawns a bit late, maybe, but, you know. It's, it's a good introduction to traps. Why am I sprinting constantly? I'm not pressing shift. Okay, the game's been weird. Anyway, uh, so then we get, you know, more of an introduction to traps, so you can learn how uh, environmental explosives work. Pretty useful. Uh, gets told about health and armor bags uh, because you know you, you will need them. And then you get introduced to the overkill weapon, which in this case is the number because it's the one you start with. Uh, you can just run through here and blow up everyone. Make sure you don't fire these grenades too close to yourself since they lowered the uh, self damage. Uh, you're less likely to kill yourself now, but it can still happen if you get a bit. Uh, actually, can it still happen? Let me just check. I'm, actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to do some live discovery. Okay, yeah, I think if you blow yourself up with all the nades, it probably will happen. Be careful when you set up the drill because uh, the cops will spawn behind you. Um, once they're dead, no more cops will spawn. This is the last group of cops in this map. So then you do that, you open this. There's a pretty long delay here before you're actually allowed to set stuff up, pro set stuff up properly, as you can see. So you can just drop this here and then just wait. Um, and then eventually Shade will speak, you can just throw the bags onto there, this is where you get introduced to zip lines and like bag moving mechanics, so pretty good. This is a pretty good first tutorial to be honest, um, it's, it teaches you like all of the basics of combat and like some of the core game mechanics uh, in a pretty like concise and efficient way, it's, it's pretty good. So after this we have the social self tutorial, this is your introduction to uh, unmasked self and uh, I don't actually remember this one, so we'll, we'll have a look. Hell yeah, let's case this fucker. The next area is public. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is this is the one that teaches you about um the security of different areas, um, so like the different security levels. So you need a blue key card from here to unlock that, which you can find underneath that uh that one cabinet. That might be random. I don't know. Probably isn't. Uh, not that one cabinet. Underneath those files. Sorry, you get introduced to lock picking, which is just a simple mini game. Uh, and then we have, whoops, uh, the private area tutorial. I will need you to come with me. This area is restricted. So as you can see, if you get caught, then the guards will escort you out of private areas. Make sure you don't run away, otherwise they will uh, try and uh, cuff you. And if they can't find you, then I think they call the police. I don't remember. They definitely call them a search at the very least. And then the next time. Uh, you will... They will call in uh, the police. Although, because he's standing there... Ooh, actually, no. Yeah, man, I can just do it this way. Pretty cool, right? Then over here, we have still a private area. We have a safe, so you get introduced to safe cracking. Safe cracking is really weird and has, like, a bunch of strange mechanics to it that seem like bugs and bizarre other stuff, but I'm not going to go into it. Uh, this way you can find a phone so for a QR code. So QR codes are weird. Um, you need to scan a phone and then you can use a QR code, which is a single use, like, key, key card kind of basically. It's kind of weird. Anyway, and that's that tutorial done. The next up is the detection tutorial, which is kind of weird. I don't really know why they call it a detection tutorial because it doesn't really have much to do with detection. 
Uh, it's more to do with, uh, like, masked self than anything else, but it does go over a few topics of detection, so I guess it works. Uh, it's definitely worth playing for anyway, because it did, gives you some interesting information about some stuff that you might not otherwise know. Uh, this first room is pretty much irrelevant, I don't really know why it's here. The second room is an introduction to the cable boxes that are in the Notice of the Wicked and Golden Shark. So it was blue, so flip blue. Uh, here we have a camera tutorial, so... Avoid cameras. Over here we have a secure area, so you can't sprint near this guy. Uh, this guy also, for some reason, he uses the 1.0 detection, like, uh, AI for some reason. So if you sprint, he will walk over to where you were when the exclamation mark appeared instead of uh, where you were when you started sprinting. Except he's not doing it now because of course he isn't. This is really... Okay, I don't know. Maybe they changed it? They kind of changed it. Anyway, uh, if you manage to get past this guy, uh, you can actually use the keypad uh, until you kill him. What was that noise? Check out so the you need to kill him anyway. Unfortunate, but that is just how it is. Answer the radio. Unanswered calls also, that star's locked, so you do need to go through it. Nothing, nothing report. <laughs> so to get through there you need to break this vent and then break this other vent and then the code is just on this very strange looking sure screen. Uh, if another guard finds it, they'll raise the alarm. Really? You think I didn't know that? This next door has so seven oh eight one. You need to find the right combination. Uh huh. Uh, so here's here's something interesting. If you manage to get into this vent without destroying the camera, it will instantly trigger the alarm and you fail. So take out the camera. Um, and then instantly a guard will spawn, I think? Oh, it's not when you spawn, I think. It's when you get back. Why is it telling me to place a tool? Why is it telling me to place a tool? You know what? Let's place the tool. Let's see what happens. So this is your introduction to glass cutting, which is 99% of the time useless. You can just pick locks or break glass, and it'll be basically the same. Uh, this guy just appears, I guess, uh, and then immediately leaves, because of course he does. Can you go after him? Oh, there's a toilet here! That's, that's cool. Does he just stand there forever? Okay. Right, well... And then from here, After too many, guard so that's the starting down. area, and then down she, here we have no, no, the guard. escape. And that's that. So the last tutorial is crowd control. This is an introduction to negotiation mechanics and the new control assault phases. Um, so... Uh, you you need to open you need to shoot open this door to uh, actually get through it because it's locked and also you need to kill this guard to be able to open this gate. Um, once you open this gate, the alarm will go and now you need to fire everyone up. Wow, that's that's not appreciated. And then you need to grab this guy because this guy's the manager and move him over to this scanner. Uh, it's worth noting that if you grab a civilian that um, that has been tied up, they will not be tied up anymore, so it's kind of weird that you need to tie them up first, because he's no longer tied up. Um, this game doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's a tutorial, I don't care. Um, you need to disable the lockdown so you can grab the jewellery, and then you need to grab at least one piece of jewellery to escape. So... First responder cops are arriving. Oh, my favorite little bitches. Uh, I believe you do need to trade at least one person, I think, as well. I don't remember. It's been a while. You can make I'll do it anyway. Yeah, there you go. With the cops in exchange for civilians, like making them hold off their attack. Uh huh. And then you can grab the jewelry, and then you just need to leave, and that's it. That's it. Pick and that's it. That's the full tutorial. 